and it's rewind. I've got that American enthusiasm up in my head. They may be singing just because they like to sing, and they may be singing because it's the beginning of a new day, and guess who's coming to work? Every morning around 9.30, a pink Cadillac turns the corner into a parking lot on Corporate Row in Dallas, Texas. It slips into the reserved space along with the other pink Cadillacs. Pink is the color of success at this company, and this is space number one reserved for the chairman of the board and out she steps the chairwoman in this case herself a symphony in pink mary k ash age unknown and never to be told the founder and driving force behind good morning mary k cosmetics a direct sales company began 16 years ago when this retired grandmother decided to go into business for herself today there are 50,000 salespeople almost all of them women selling her products and the company now grosses a hundred million dollars a year my objective was just to help women it was not to make a tremendous amount of sales I want women to earn money commensurate with men I want them to be paid on the basis of what they have between their ears and their brains and not because they're male or female but at the same time I would like women to remain feminine because I have found that it's an asset to be female in a man's world I think we're getting a really, really nice look. If you haven't heard of Mary Kay, you soon will. The products bearing her name cannot be bought in a store. Like Tupperware, they can only be bought at an event, usually held at a friend's house. We're going to dot here, here. The Mary Kay here, beauty here, consultant, she is never here, called a saleswoman, in might invite half a dozen people to a beauty demonstration. She is Maddie, not a Mary Kay employee. She is a freelance businesswoman who buys the cream or tint or goo wholesale from the Mary Kay plant and then sells it at a profit over the dining room table. Okay, the basic starter set sells for $37. Two of our girls this year, and I think this is phenomenal, reached the million dollar mark in earnings. earnings. And this is less than 15 years. This is not on sales, I'd like to make that clear. This is when you progress up that ladder to the point where you are helping teach other women to go out and do a tremendous job. What do you think those women would have done otherwise, without this, without you? They would be home, looking at days of our lives. The essence of Mary Kay-ism is the cultivation of a spirit that is part religious, part sorority, part military. It's a life, like say the Marine Corps, or the Carmelite nuns, but instead of vows of silence, they've taken vows of enthusiasm. An army of loyalists who burst into songs of praise at the least provocation. I've got that Mary Kay enthusiasm up in my head, up in my head. What Mary Kay pours back to her consultants, aside from the profit, is an intense personal relationship between herself and the Mary Kay family. All letters are answered personally. All 50,000 birthdays are remembered. If you would ask me what is it that women need across America, Australia, and Canada, I would have to say it's confidence. Here's a woman who's never had any praise at all for anything she's ever done. Maybe the only applause she ever had was when she graduated from high school. She wants recognition. So we praise her for everything good that she does. We praise our people to success. And we thank you so much for what you've done. The Part slightest effort is recognized. Trophies are handed out for anything, for just being so wonderful. Great. Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Well, you don't have to say anything except that you will have this every day to remember that we think you're wonderful. The consultants wear their Mary Kay decorations with the pride of veterans of foreign wars. This you see here is the ladder of success, and this goes on a quarterly basis of production. And then you build each quarter on your ladder all the way up to the top. This beautiful Ada diamond ring can be one for production in Mary Kay. On the pin, there are two shovels, one large and one small. The small shovel signifies all the good that we give out to others. And if we do that, that God will give us back a large shovel full. Big shot male executives are said to have a presence. They exude power. And wherever they go, there is the hush of deference from the lesser men whose lives they control. When Mary Kay comes to town, it's exactly the opposite. The air is so thick with upbeatness, you can practically cut it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with a great deal of pleasure that I present to you 
our leader, our motivator, our inspiration, our first lady, your chairman of the board, Mary Kay. No Mary Kay person, including Mary Kay herself, lets more than a minute go by without invoking God. It's as if the road to heaven is paved with cosmetic sales. I sincerely feel that we are not as smart as the balance sheets would show, that God has blessed this company beyond all belief, for the simple reason that we came along at a time when women were coming into their own. And he wants you to become the beautiful person that he knows he created. Do you think that's really fair in terms of marketing, to inject God into it as though there was some religious experience involved in either working for, buying, selling? Let me say this. Um, I really feel that our company is where it is today and has been blessed beyond all belief by the fact that God is using our company as a vehicle to help women to become the beautiful creatures that he created. But do you think in a sense you're using God? I hope not. I sincerely hope not. I hope he's using me instead. Hi, Ned. How are you, darling? Mary Kay beauty consultants are only seen carefully coiffed and made up and wearing dresses, never jeans. No liquor is served at Mary Kay functions. Do you tell your people no drinking, no smoking? Yes. Well, we suggest that if you smoke, please don't smoke during the beauty show. You can do without a cigarette for two hours. But as far as alcohol is concerned, no alcoholic beverages are served at any Mary Kay function. Like other chairpersons, Mary Kay has thoughts that touch the very essence of life. The ages of woman, for example. To the age of 14, a woman needs good parents and good health. And then from 14 to 40, she needs good looks. From 40 to 60, she needs personality. <laughs> And after 60, I'm here to tell you what you need is cash. <laughs> if you want to get a sense of something special, then you must attend the annual Mary Kay seminar in Dallas. 8,000 women pay their own way to come to Texas for this crowning event in the life of a Mary Kay person. The seminar is bigger than life. You can't experience it until you get here. There's no way you can go back home and tell all your people and all your customers and all your girls the excitement that goes on here because it's absolutely super. You learn so much. Making money, making money, forever. is a blatant, unapologetic tribute to Mary Kay and capitalism. Other corporate giants walk on stage. Mary Kay levitates. She's a brass band, she's a harpsichord, she's a clarinet. She's the Philadelphia Orchestra, she's the modern jazz quartet. Busby Berkeley would not be embarrassed by the show or the budget. A million dollars just to throw this annual three-day bash in Dallas that leads finally to awards night. These are the best for the whole year. There are more queens crowned in one night in Dallas than in 400 years of Westminster Abbey. But finally, the queen of queens, the numera una in the nation, the top sales director, and Mary Kay. Then Shirley Hunt. If women, when they are girls, have fantasies of dizzying lives, clinking diamonds clothed in mink, they quickly lose them to the mortgage and the children and the rest. But Mary Kay Ash, with a touch of marketing genius, proves it can all come true for anyone in middle life. There's a rich pink world out there, and all you gotta do is sell. Welcome to my world. Won't you come on in? Won't you come on in? Knock, and the door will open. Knock, and the door will open. I 
I'll be waiting here. I'll be waiting here. With my arms unfurled. With my arms unfurled. Waiting just for you. Waiting just for you. Welcome to our world. Welcome to our world.